LeBron, Jordan, Jordan, LeBron. It's endless. The only way to finally settle this debate is with PowerPoint. Basketball PowerPoint. Certainly, the advanced statistics favor LeBron over Jordan. But I will show that Jordan is the GOAT. What's my evidence? Well, it's staring us in the face. Not here, but here. Let's back up. Although most famous recently for his meme work, in the 1990s, Michael Jordan was known for being the Michael Jordan of basketball. And he had a problem. He was going bald. And back then, balding men had few options. They could conceal it poorly, live in denial, or accept their fate and live a life of quiet desperation. Jordan chose none of these options. Instead, he dominated baldness by completely shaving his head. And because he was so transcendent, he single-handedly popularized this look, paving the way for later bald greats like Bruce Willis, The Rock, and Mr. Worldwide himself. LeBron also struggled with baldness, but chose a much different path. He originally employed a strategically placed and expanding headband, but eventually the modified headband could no longer conceal the obvious, and even league partners were forced to admit LeBron was balding. And so in 2014, LeBron turned to that unstoppable combination of science and money and got his first hair transplant. Jordan and LeBron's approach to hair loss gives us a new statistic, showing us that one cares about how he's perceived while the other does not. And that's important because the essence of being cool is not caring about what others think. And therein lies the difference. It's just something about Jordan. It's just better, cooler than LeBron. And the evidence is plain to see if you know where to look. Let's go!